Hi, my name is Jimmy, and I'm looking forward to traveling the world in my later years. This is the second part of my first vlog, so come take the hike with me into Curacao. Good morning. So I realized yesterday was I had a couple of firsts for me. I swam with sea turtles. I drank coconut water from straight from a coconut, and I drove in a foreign country. So it was a pretty cool day. So today I'm planning to begin the day with a hike up Mount Kristoff, which is the highest point in Curacao. Uh, hopefully we can do it before it gets too hot, and we'll just see what the rest of the day brings. This is the last full day in Curacao. Okay, so the goal is to climb this mountain behind me, and it's getting pretty hot, so let's see if we can do this. So I just passed a Dutch couple and told me I'm about halfway, which is good. My knees are weak. My palms are sweaty. But I do not have vomit on my shoulder. So back in Willemstad, I have to admit that hike was challenging. It took a lot out of me, so I just went back to the flat, rested, took a shower, and I get some lunch. I'm gonna try this Plaza Blue Market again. Looks like it's pretty busy now. And um, there's a museum I wanna check out, a history museum. And yeah, probably call it a day from there. That's quite a hike. So I got a quarter of goat meat at the local market. That was good. Good local meal, real plates. Um, now in full, it's very good. One odd thing though with credit cards here is um, I typically try to get everybody to run it through the local currency, which here would be a guilder. Um, but every once in a while, probably like 50% of the time, um, both my Chase card and Capital One card will decline and you have to run it as dollars. Um, so that I, like half my transactions are in guilders, half are in dollars. Um, I mean, either way I'm paying, but um, typically I think you always want to use the local currency on a card and let your 
credit card company do the conversion. All right, I'm gonna go across the bridge and um, check out this museum. Wanted to add also, I don't know what that bread was, but it was good. I was not expecting it to be a sweet bread, um, but it was, it was almost like for dessert. It had raisins in it, very good. So I left the microphone back at my, my place. So hopefully you can hear me the wind picking up. But I just wanted to point out that the ship that was here yesterday is now gone. And I would have loved to have seen that leave because that means the Queen Emma Bridge would have had to move out of the way in order to get the ship through. Okay, I may have gotten a wish. Um, I just fired up the engine on the bridge right now. So, but I don't see a boat. But the bridge is about to move, it looks like. That was interesting, definitely worth checking out. It was a history of the slave trade. So Curacao was discovered by the Spanish, I think in 1499, and they took the local inhabitants as slaves. And the actual slave trade as we know it through Africa didn't occur until the Dutch took over Curacao a couple decades later, and the Dutch um, West Indies Company was established, and Curacao was at the heart of um, the slave trade during the 1600s. So tomorrow, before my flight, I'm planning to check out the Hatu Caves, uh, just the Bat Caves. Um, it should be one of, the, one of the main attractions in Curacao, and it's right by the airport, so I just figured it was worth doing on my way to the airport. So we'll be checking that out. And um, really enjoyed my time here in Curacao. This is a neat country. Definitely worth checking out.
are back at La Mahima Cafe. And I got a chicken curry arepa with some fried plantains. So I got a bottle of water, um, still feeling dehydrated from that height. And I didn't realize this is a Dasani. Never seen this labeling before. Anyhow, gonna call it a day, finally. So travel days are very exciting, but at the same time, there is a touch of sadness that I feel in my heart, um, that it is the final day, but I do know when I get home, there'll be a sense of relief as well. But for now, we're gonna pay a visit to the Hatu Caves and then head to the airport. Bye bye. Just had some excellent scrambled eggs, coconut smoothie, Americano, back at the cafe. Tights come up. I think she said uh, stalactites form one centimeter every thousand years, maybe it was 10,000 years, which is kind of amazing because there were some stalagmites that were knee high, some that would join. And I was, I laugh at myself because I grew up going to Disney World, and anytime I'm in a location like this, I'm like, oh wow, this is just like the uh, pirate caves in Pirates of the Caribbean. No. The pirate caves at Pirates of the Caribbean are like this. This is the original. Um, so definitely recommend coming now to the airport. So the Hato Caves were definitely worth checking out. It was a $10 admission for about a 45 minute tour. Um, there were bats inside, they were small, <laughs> almost like animatronics, just shadows going across. Um, there were a couple of caves that, or caverns rather, that they let you uh, take pictures and videos. And they asked if you did look up to make sure you closed your mouth, just in case uh, the bats may have leave a deposit with you. Fortunately, that didn't happen to me. Anyhow, here at the airport, obviously, and definitely recommend checking out the Hatu Caves, which is literally less than a mile from the airport. 
So there is a lounge at the Carousel Airport. Uh, it's the VIP lounge, which I got in using Priority Pass, made available through using the Capital One Venture X card. This is my first lounge experience as a member. This is kind of cool, though. It is a small. So quick tour, soda machine, water, juices, salad, drinks available, salami, tuna salad, pasta salad, bread, chicken soup, more bread, and what I chose, these meatballs. There is a coffee station. So another thing about this lounge is you're going to need one of these converters if you want to charge your phone. This is the first time I've had to use this in Curacao. It's actually the first time I've had to use this, period. Um, but that's what you'll need if you want to charge your phone here. All right, so now time to board my flight. Um, three cappuccinos later. Certainly glad they had a bathroom in there. And now to find the gate. So while I did say that there would be a sense of relief when I got back home, as I watched these planes on their own way, I couldn't help but think how cool it would be to be heading off to another destination. But for now, I'm taking this plane back to Miami and then home to Atlanta. All right, so made it to Miami. Uh, first time using Trusted Traveler card. It's kind of cool, didn't even have to use show my passport. So it's kind of cool and also scary at the same time, since they obviously knew who I was. Um, did about 30 minutes and hopefully make it to the lounge before my flight boards. So, got a bucket. something to eat so that was worth that and now rush into the gate and head home.